Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Keenan Buckley and I am a property entrepreneur from Birmingham. I have created this YouTube channel to share my property journey with you, which is aimed to educate, motivate and inspire those who are from the same background, whether it be socially, economically or culturally. Remember, all things are possible, but you must commit yourself. Morning people, it's Friday the 1st of March. I'm walking through Birmingham to get to Samuel Leader's crash course. As you can see, I'm currently outside of Radisson in Birmingham, my hometown. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because I see where I hope to be. So I'm just gonna document the whole journey. Why not? You know, it'll be interesting to look back on and also it may inspire people. Well, hopefully it does, because that's the, the intention. Good afternoon, people. It's currently, let me check. I'm my Casio. 12.56, 5th of March, 2019, three days after the Samuel Leeds crash course. And guess what? Yes, I'm at work. And I am not the happiest of people right now, because I got this thought that I can produce great things within property and I'll just harness that in the moment but only myself is harnessing myself that's just it but I know I'm still pumped up yo I yo the experience with Samuel Leeds on that weekend yo indescribable I'm pumped I don't even think I need to go to the fuel station this is like energy that's gonna be <laughs> you know what I mean? Look, but yo, I can't wait to start the academy. And oh yeah, I didn't mention in my last one because obviously I was still deciding. But yes, I did decide to join the academy. I hope it's worth every penny. Um, but then again, it's up to me to get out as much as I can. So it's all on me and I understand that. All I need to do from time to time. When I'm at work and I'm on a break, which is very rarely, I tend to read this book. Yeah? To keep that knowledge up. If I got 10 minutes, I'll be reading. If I got five minutes, I'll probably be reading. If I got two minutes, I'll probably be making this video. But Good morning. It's currently the 28th of March, 2019. Almost nine o'clock. I'm 15 minutes early for my property journey. I'm currently outside the Hilton Hall. I look a bit awkward because people are staring at me, but never mind, never mind. No regrets, no regrets. So yeah, today is the first day of the academy. So how am I feeling right now? I'm feeling really, really excited. I just wanna produce a game plan and take action on that game plan. So I'm gonna keep you updated on this journey as promised. I won't let you down. Don't let me down. So, I think it's important to share some history about myself with you. That's going to help you understand where I have been, where I am, and where I am going. Right? So, let's rewind the hands of time. At the beginning of 2019, I was in full time employment. And the only reason why I was in a job was because I was aiming to get a mortgage, which I did. I got an offer accepted on the property. The bank said, here, we can lend you this money and we can get you on the property ladder. And I was over the moon completely. I was, you know, I was doing a moonwalk and all sorts of dances. You know, I almost twisted my back, but I was, I was just... A static I was happy that I've got something and I'm, it's going through and hooray everything was unky dory but during that time I was educating myself on the property and I was thinking okay maybe this is not the wisest of moves because what I know now is when you buy property you need to buy a property which is below market value Yes, that's a wise investment right there because profit is made when you buy and not when you sell. But I won't delve too much into that topic there. I will save it for another video. So let's skip a bit forward. So as I was 
learn about property and all the different strategies that are out there, I was thinking, okay, I'm going to put 10,000 down, which is going to include the deposit to decorate the place, you know, get new furniture because bear this in mind, it's my first property. So I need it looking like the creme de la creme, you know, it's a bachelor's pad, so it needs to be sweet. You know, I was thinking, okay, if I spend all this money, it's going to be a liability unless I can rent it out. But I was aiming to get a resident. Well, I got accepted for a residential mortgage and you can't rent a property just like that. For those who don't know, if you want to rent out on a residential mortgage, then you need to get a consent to let from your lender, which is the bank, right? But you need permission before that happens, all right? Depend on your circumstances, right? But then again, we'll leave that for another video. I've got a lot for you in store. So hopefully you can stay tuned and click on that notification button so you can find out more videos that I have to offer you. But anyway, moving on very swiftly. Almost forgot what I was about to say. But yes, I've actually forgot. I've actually forgot. It's a bit awkward that is, isn't it? Yeah, I am human. <laughs> but, so I'm not gonna ramble on, but it just goes to show, listen, we make mistakes. The whole objective the whole reason me creating a YouTube channel, right, is to show you the realness of property. No sugar coating, no fluff, no scripts, it's raw, okay? So yes, back to the topic. So I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna invest all this money, but what if I invest 10,000 and get 20,000? That's a quick way to multiply my money because I, was focused more on cash flow now, not all the assets. Maybe that can come later once I get a good amount of cash flow coming because they say cash flow is king. I was like, okay, you know what? Maybe I can start up a business, a business that is to do with the rent to rent strategy. If I can rent somebody's property and then rent it to somebody else, then okay, that sounds like a good idea. Now sign me up. So. I got really interested in the rent to rent strategy and I thought, you know what? Let me just withdraw myself from this mortgage and start my rent to rent business. And that's where everything began. First of all, good afternoon. Currently 1.48, length of April. I am in the process of designing my company logo. Got a few sketches here, starting from the bottom. So this is just a short video of Jules and I learning how to brand ourselves at the academy through our phones. Gotta get them angles. Hello, that's another update, it's Keenan. Um, today is the 24th of April. I've decided to change the name of my company because it just doesn't sit right. I don't feel like I can represent it um, as much as I would like to. You know? Afternoon people, it's the 13th of May. And guess what? My new cards have just arrived. Buckley and Co. Estates. Boom. Yes, I did decide to change the name once again. Just to give you a little update on my journey so far, I uh, removed myself from the academy. So the reason why I removed myself from the Samuel Leeds Academy is because I didn't experience the fair exchange of value in addition to financial problems. So undeniably, the wealth of knowledge that they provide is overwhelming. And if it's not used, it becomes useless. I cannot knock that at all because it's of benefit to anybody who uses that. However, the ongoing support was not there. You know, what I was sold was, the support wasn't there and that's what I ultimately wanted, especially as a newbie in property. That's just my opinion and that's what I experienced, right? However, 
I think it would be a great platform if they had a strong support system. I'm not sure how it is at this moment in time, but that's how it was. So I hear a lot of people say, look, just give it a crack. Go on, get out there, be an action taker, get them properties because they're out there. Yes, there's nothing wrong with getting out there and viewing properties. But if you want to be considered as a reputable individual, I would advise everyone to get a business card on a website because when an agent sees your business card the second thing they're going to do is search on google and if you're not there you're a nobody so be a somebody you never get a second chance to make a first impression okay so get your stuff make sure that you got your cards website number everything sorted out before approaching any letting agents just makes you look more credible and doesn't risk losing any deals so to speak, if it's so sweet, you gotta get in there and make sure you look like a real company, like you're a real person. And that's what I wanted to do before I entered my uh, property journey, and that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna start viewing properties now, left, right, center, making a few calls, building report, and um, I'm ready. I'm ready. Um, yeah, I've got about 250. I've got a few events booked in this week, and I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get I don't feel like I'm missing out I'm still hitting my targets With time the cold and my heart gets Ain't even showed on my hard disk I never stayed in my lane I made my own lane I made my own name Then changed my old name They said there's no room I made my own space She said she wants more I told her go away Now look who's missing out Oh you're missing out Yeah I bet you're missing out You're missing out Oh you're missing out I'm good over here, but you're missing out. Missing out. So I'm gonna take this for memories. So we came across a lot of properties today, isn't that right? Yeah, absolutely. And we're gonna capitalize on these properties. Yeah. Of course. So, good luck, man. <laughs> good evening, people. My name is Keen. I'm from Buckley and Co Estates. This is just a short video to notify you that I've officially picked up the keys to my first rent to rent deal. I just want to give props and respect to my mentor, Napa, who helped me on my short journey. And um, this is also a message to encourage anybody uh, to stay focused and don't get too emotional in any deals that come your way. Every deal is not a deal. Analyze it thoroughly and if it's for you, I'm being recorded by video. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, stay focused and stay persistent and you'll get what you deserve. Now, like the moment I began to put in 100% in searching for my deal and securing it is the moment I actually got my deal. I'm good over here, but you're missing out. Didn't wanna hear me before, but I made them listen now. Snakes like onions all in my sandwich, yeah, yeah, I had to pick them out. They take the bait and I fish them out. Slip on the sauce that I'm dripping now. Yeah, I'm good over here, or you're missing now. I changed my location, she's still trying to find me. Hit the junction doing 120, so turning back is unlikely. I see you peeking over my shoulder, got a passcode for a reason. But it's 050505, I hope you find what you're looking for. If you ain't about winning with me, then I can't keep you around. Gotta keep limited company. Opened up a business account. Not just money in this account. I get it, but I keep it to myself. Can't mind your business with no business. I bet you're missing out. Roll up a magic one wing, got the young Leviosa. Came on late in the game, still done off the game like Sosha. Potential from early, the future look blurry. Never concern me, couple man bear me. Came back firing, it's all about timing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Flows your man, I got bare, yeah, yeah. Throwing your man out on there, yeah, yeah. That ain't just a chair, yeah, yeah. Come on girls, come on girls. I love it, I love it, I love it. So these two kind, wonderful ladies helped me as much as they could, which I highly appreciate, unforgettable. So thank you.
So what you see here is the end result of what the team and I did. We absolutely whitewashed the whole property with white paint and wallpapered some parts of it also. In addition to that, I tiled this bathroom. Now I had to get the job done as quick as possible so I could hand back the keys. People, so it is Tuesday the 11th of June. Like probably, actually it's a week after I secure my first property. And I don't often post my owls. But I post my owl simply because from the moment that I, I haven't been doing like a consistent log of everything. I'm disappointed that I didn't post my owls from the letting agents. But I suppose I'm gonna get a few in the future anyway, so I'm gonna keep you updated. But yeah, so just a few updates on my property that I secured last week. I've got a decorating team um, that's been dedicated to renovating this property up to a good standard for any potential guests and tenants. And we have came across a lot of mouse droppings. I am very disappointed. Um, in the letting agent which hasn't can I say done their job but I've been negligent uh, prior to renting me this property because it's all on the well above the kitchen units um, behind the units and some of the carpet upstairs and the crevices and I had emailed them last week to inform them of my findings and they replied back to me a few days later stating in an email they have never had any previous reports of any mice droppings which I find that quite peculiar because initially I, I believe if I remember correctly and the viewing they did mention about something about mouse droppings I knew something was very suspicious from then um, so yeah it's mad because i managed to find the contact of the my friend should i say who previously lived here so i contacted them and i asked them questions and lo and behold there was previous problems with mouse droppings which clearly hasn't been addressed um that's a very Draw and like deceive that is what I feel so uh, frustrated, it's unbelievable. Um, so I've been in talks with the previous tenant, and literally about an hour ago, I walked into the letting agent and I waited and I spoke to the main guy um, at this letting agent and I expressed my concerns. And he was almost in the he, he confessed that there was reports even though it stated in the email there wasn't so at least I got something from him and I said I'm either taking two routes you can either sort this out or I'll be going down the legal route and taking it really firmly he goes listen I don't want to be threatened I said listen I'm not threatening um, just weighing up my options so to speak um, because the little advice that I've got from my solicitor it's misrepresentation of contractual law if they've practically sold me a property for three years and I'm getting this stuff now and it's for strings I got I've paid for deposit I've, like, I've paid first month rent we got a three week rent free period but literally decorating team spent all week uh, stripping the walls last week um, I got some of the uh, people in there painting the place now wallpapering the place in preparation for furniture for the third week and then it's going to be online so I'm just really disappointed but yeah I'm going to keep you updated on the uh, progress of the Just a quick update, it is the 12th of June, um, today I emailed the letting agent and told them I no longer want the property because 
there is a known problem of mice in the area and there's a lot of droppings and it's going to be a problem for me in the future if I continue to rent out this property so I've told them listen here's the keys obviously we have to get it up to a good standard where they can rent it out because uh, we have been taking you know little light refurbishments with the property but it's upside down light refurbishment upside down. yeah yeah it's upside down so um, we need to get it up to a good standard but a landlord called me today and it's mad because this landlord I had previously done work for um, for those who don't know I'm a qualified gas engineer and plumber so he called me he said hey I've got two properties that I want you to take on because the existing management company have defaulted on their rent so they have responsibility for the properties now so I visited one today and it was a pigsty and you know it's not what I envisioned um, it to be so we was negotiating in the car and I told them this is the rent you can expect from me but it's under condition that you get the property up to a good standard whereby I can rent it out there's oh by the way I forgot to tell you there's existing tenants in there under a rolling contract um, but I still don't feel comfortable taking on the property with the known problems um, so I told them I don't mind renting out the property but that's subject to you getting it up to a good standard whereby I feel comfortable doing viewings you know let alone allowing people to live in that property so I said listen they told me to think about it I said I thought about it that was within that like, 10 seconds I said I'm, I'm not interested uh, but they got another property that I'm hoping to see either tomorrow or Friday so uh, in fact wait yeah it's Wednesday today it's mad um, so yeah I'll keep you updated um, the lesson is not every deal is a deal and you learn from your mistakes and that's what I've learned in the last week I made a major mistake and I plan to put it right and I'm not getting myself into a deal that I don't see has long lasting so yeah good afternoon people it's 24th of June I just thought I would make this short video um, just to give you an update and what I'm doing right now. I'm currently cleaning the pavement of the back garden and the kitchen. I've also tiled um, the bathroom also um, because when I was doing the light refurbishment on the property, I stripped all the walls uh, of wallpaper and took all the tiles off the wall. So. I need to give it back to the letting agent in a rentable condition so to speak and all these little menial tasks that I'm doing is just so I can give the property back and save my deposit and yeah I'm not happy about this situation here but I know it's not gonna last um, you know hard times don't last man strong people do so yeah I just thought I'd give you an update of what I'm doing right now spent about a week and a half trying to get this property up to a good standard so to speak um, but I'll take a few photos and show you what we because a lot of friends and uh, family have helped me out uh, during this light refurbishment so yeah I'm not feeling good at the moment but my spirits are still up and I know if I win the battle in my mind I'm halfway there so yeah we're just gonna move on from this property and secure many more i believe in myself i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it yeah i'm gone so if i'm completely honest with you looking back on this deal <laughs> fear definitely played a major role in my decision making in handing these keys back because one I didn't want to waste my money and I wasn't too sure if you know mice would affect the tenants or the guests or whatever because I was still a bit indecisive at this moment in time whether to have as a HMO or SA I wasn't too sure 
I just knew that it may have caused a problem down the line and that's not what I wanted. And in all honesty, my heart wasn't in it from the get-go when I got the keys or when I was looking at the property, stuff like that. My heart just wasn't in it. And I've learned to trust in my intuition moving forward because it, it does save money. Long story short, fear did play a major role and I'm glad I've learned to deal with that now. I've learned to control my emotions you're bound to have mice in terraced houses you know if the neighbors a bit dirty or whatever it may be but before you go on the viewing just knock on the next door neighbors houses and find out what the area is like you know if i actually knocked on my neighbor's door now a few days after me discovering these bits and bobs should we say and she said yeah they they're like our neighbors the mice are the neighbors i'm like whoa um okay and that's what let, I, I was just freaked out from that moment there so i was like i gotta go so that's why i handed the keys back luckily for me i got my deposit money i got my first month's rent the only money i didn't get back was money i pay people to decorate the property and materials and stuff like that but look you gotta learn either way and it's gonna be your time or your money so good afternoon people my name is keenan it is the third of july 12 o'clock so good afternoon i'm currently walking around Birmingham city center visiting different construction sites and asking different contractors and subcontractors if they have any accommodation and if so can i provide a better service so as you can see there's a lot of cranes in the background and I'm just knocking it out one by one. I'm on foot today. Good afternoon people, it's Wednesday the 10th of July. I'm currently in Bournemouth, waiting to meet my client. And we are going to carry out a few viewings on a few properties today. Hopefully we can secure something and I become a happy man, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, so I met this client last week in Birmingham as I visited the project and I just formally introduced myself. Uh, they contacted me the following day and it's come to this. We've been sending emails back and forth and hopefully I can do him a major uh, favor today and secure him something that meets his requirements has promised man of my word yes that's all i got in this world and my you know the rest but i won't say um so yeah hopefully i secure the deal today it's going to be very very profitable if i do i'm going to play it cool got a game plan in my own mind and i'm just going to stick to it play it cool play it cool yeah just be yourself that's i've that's how i've kind of that's, that's my way of thinking right now. Let's not be too technical about things. That's my way of thinking. And I'm just gonna do what I came to do and, and secure the bag, so to speak. So yeah, I'll keep you updated on the journey. As always, stay tuned. You're gonna make it happen, man. You're gonna make it happen, yeah? If I secure this deal, it's exciting, you know? It's exciting, yeah? All right, cool. I'm out. Enjoy your day, 10th of July. May I add? This vehicle that you see me in, I'm not even gonna front. I rented this vehicle out today, this morning, at 8.30 in Birmingham, to be very specific. Simply because I drive a van and it's not gonna be um, a good perception of me turning up in a van. Unfortunately, we live in a world where what people perceive is what they believe. So it's a nice little vehicle, black. Woo! Fire. It's fire. But yeah. Um, fake it till you make it, they say. But I believe in making it and then you fake it. But, you know, it is what it is. Take it easy. Bye now. 
So the moral of the story is that the gentleman found out how much profit I would have made from the deal and therefore he cut me out and went straight to an agent, which is understandable. However, my next video will be next week where I show you how I secured another property, how I generated a huge amount of profit. Following is some clips of my next video. I'll see you next week. The walls have been painted. Properties now been furnished. And now... Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Now, my man Naz has sorted me out completely. Yeah. Whatever I need in the future, Naz has got my back 100%. He's giving us an amazing discount, haven't you, Naz? No worries. You know he that. didn't agree. He didn't agree. <laughs> yeah. But I think he's giving us an amazing I discount. My best, man. Come on. Can you believe it? So let me tell you about this deal 1.3 minimum K. Cash flow each month for about six months. That's a great thing, right? Six months with the hope of extension. So after picking up the keys to my second rent to rent, I had 11 days to turn this upside down into something fabulous like this. But you'll see everything in the next video. Yeah.